ladies and gentlemen, today I am not happy. Why? I am not happy with the current standard of professionalism in our so-called Royal Malaysian Police. Why? I believe that these policemen, they are just much. being there. Your leg. They are just being there just for the sake of having a job. And my guess, and my personal guess is, is, and my personal guess is, these so-called policemen, they are having too much of nasi lemak and kueh lapis. <laughs> too much of nasi lemak. Too much of nasi lemak and kueh lapis. So, their bellies are, a, are, <coughs> as, equivalent, are as equivalent as a 10-month <laughs> pregnant mother <laughs> and, <laughs> and the snatch thief can run 100 meters faster than that. <laughs> Let's take a look at Singapore and Hong Kong, for instance. Friends, any one of you have been there? Any one of you have been to Singapore or Hong Kong? Please, yeah. show of hands. Have you been observing their policemen? Can you see how fit they are? No, they never run after me, so I don't know. <laughs> Why? Because they don't have to run. They are Malaysians. They don't have to run. <laughs> People don't dare to commit crimes in Singapore. People don't. People don't dare to commit crimes in Singapore or Hong Kong. Because their officers are so fit, are so well trained, until to the point that these two countries can become one of the lowest criminal rates in the world. is we don't have to look so far in training our policemen. If I am the Inspector General of Police, I will assign batch by batch. I will assign. I will assign batch by batch to send them to Singapore to have more rigorous training so in order to make our country safer. So, my dear friends, if I am the IGP, we do support my solution in order for, for our Malaysia to be a safer country. Yes. Thank you for listening, my dear friends.